Hello everyone! Welcome to Miss J's classroom. Our lesson is about describing the main functions of the brain. The human body is made up of tiny particles called cells. Here is an example of brain cells. When cells with the same characteristics group together, they form a tissue. The tissues with similar functions are grouped into organs such as the brain. The human brain is protected by the skull or the cranium. The brain is the control system of your body because it takes charge of your voluntary actions like raising your arms, thoughts, speech, memory, and emotions. It controls involuntary actions such as breathing, digestion, and heartbeat. There are three main parts of the brain, the cerebrum, cerebellum, and medulla oblongata, which is also known as medulla or brain stem. The cerebrum is the largest part of the brain. It controls the voluntary movements of your muscles, like running, walking, kicking, and dancing. It helps you perform mental activities, such as thinking, memorizing, speaking, problem solving, and making decisions. The cerebrum is divided into left and right hemispheres. The left brain controls the right side of your body, and the right brain controls the left side of your body. The left brain enables you to learn language, mathematics, logical reasoning, critical thinking, and problem solving. The right side enables you to be creative in different forms of expression, such as performing arts, drawing, and music. The second part of the brain is the cerebellum. It lies underneath the cerebrum. The cerebellum helps control the movements of your body. It helps maintain balance so you don't fall when you walk or stand. Your skeletal muscles send messages to the brain, and the brain sends messages to the skeletal muscles to contract or relax while your body moves. The pindola oblongata connects the brain to the spinal cord. The connection is important because the spinal cord brings information from the nerves to the brain and the brain sends its response to the spinal cord then to the different parts of the body. Aside from that, the brainstem or medulla oblongata controls your heartbeat, blood pressure, breathing, and the involuntary movements of the internal organs. Let us summarize our lesson. The brain is the control center of the body. It controls voluntary and involuntary body movements. It has two hemispheres, the left and the right. It has three main parts, the cerebrum, cerebellum, and the medulla oblongata or brain stem. Thank you for joining Miss J's class.